to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make faux bread. Look at how darling this faux bread is. It looks so real too. It looks so yummy. As well as faux muffins. Look at how darling these are in the little muffin tray. Aren't these so cute? These are so fun and easy to make. Super cute for a coffee bar, a buffet, or anywhere in your kitchen. I cannot wait to show you how to make these, so stay tuned. And if you are new here to my channel, welcome. I love sharing home decor, cooking, and DIY here on my channel. So if those are videos you enjoy watching, click that subscribe button below so you never miss a video. Okay, you guys, you know what time it is. Grab yourself a coffee or a tea and a muffin. <laughs> Sit back, relax, and let's get started. First up, I'm gonna show you how I distress these loaf pans and muffin pans from Dollar Tree to give them a rustic look. I'm gonna be spray painting a few of them with black spray paint and a few with brown spray paint. I'm also going to be coating them with cinnamon in between coats to give them a very rustic look. You don't need to do these to the pans. You may have pans from the thrift store or pans already on a hand that you want to use. You don't need to grunge them up like this, but this is a great idea if you don't have any pans or if you want to make a bunch of them, you can grab these at the Dollar Tree and easily grunge them up. So what I'm simply doing is adding a coat of spray paint while the spray paint is still wet, I am sprinkling them generously with cinnamon and then I'm just going to dust it off a little bit and then add another coat of spray paint on top and I'm going to add three or four layers until I get a really rustic look on all of these pans. So once I dust that cinnamon off, I'm adding another coat of spray paint and then adding another layer of cinnamon. And I do this three or four times until I get the desired look I want. I like some of the cinnamon kind of peeking through and it's stuck right on the pan so it's not gonna come off but it gives it a very grungy, rustic look. And you can see with each layer I add, they are getting to look more rustic and grungy looking. Definitely don't look like the original pans that came from Dollar Tree. And once I'm done with the bottom of the pans, I flip them over and I'm gonna do the same to the top. I'm not too worried about the inside of the loaf pan since I'm gonna be filling them up to make the faux breads as well as the muffin pans, but I still want to give them that rustic look on top as well. So I just go back and forth with the spray paint and cinnamon a couple of times on top until I get the desired look and then I'm gonna set them aside to dry. And once the pan is dry, this is how the muffin pan looks. Now I'm going to fill it up with spray foam. This spray foam is from Home Depot. You're going to only want to add the spray foam about halfway because this is definitely going to rise up. So I just add it in like I'm adding frosting on top of a cupcake. Now I'm going to add it into the loaf pan and I just go back and forth. And I also release the trigger before I'm pull it out of the foam so it doesn't come up. So I just go back and forth. I'm only gonna go halfway on the loaf pan as well. Then I take my finger with a glove and gently pat that foam down. You wanna do that right away because this will start rising instantly. Now with the aluminum pan, I do like to add a piece of cardboard on the bottom and I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna go back and forth about halfway in the loaf pan and then I also like to add a little bit more in the center at the end just to give this a very rustic look. Once I add the spray foam to all of my pans, I'm gonna set these aside for at least 24 hours. You will see these rise instantly, but you want to set them aside until they are good and dry because they will continue to rise slowly. 
Once they are dry, now it's time to move on to the next step. So I'm just adding some clear matte Mod Podge to another Mod Podge container that I use. I'm adding in just a little bit of ground up instant coffee. So I just take some instant coffee add it to my food processor until it's a nice powdery consistency, add just a little bit, stir it up to my matte Mod Podge until I get this caramel color look. And now I'm gonna add a coat on top of my loaf pan. While the Mod Podge is still wet, I'm going to sprinkle the top generously with cinnamon tap the excess cinnamon off and then I'm going to dab Mod Podge on top of the cinnamon to seal it in. And as you can see, I'm just gently dabbing the Mod Podge on top of that cinnamon. I don't wanna brush it around and brush that cinnamon around. I'm just dabbing the Mod Podge on top to seal that cinnamon in on top. Next, I'm gonna take instant coffee and just sprinkle a little bit on top and then add a little bit more Mod Podge on top of that instant coffee. And I'm just gently tapping the brush on top of that instant coffee and I'm taking a little bit of that excess cinnamon and adding that on top as well. I decided to add just a little bit more of that instant coffee, so I'm sprinkling it on top, and then I'm gonna tap my brush on top of it, and it's gonna give it a really cool look. So here it is. Now I'm going to set it aside to dry, and this is how it turned out. Can you believe it? Isn't it so cool? I just love it. So now I'm going to take just a piece of craft paper, and I'm just going to make a quick little tag like I like to do. So I'm just cutting a rectangle, trimming off the ends, and then I'm gonna punch a hole in it, and and then I'm going to stamp apple bread. You could do whatever kind of bread. I've done cinnamon bread with these, all kinds of different breads. I just did apple bread for this one. I'm going to grunge up my tag a little bit. Now, sometimes I use my Distress Oxide in Vintage Photo, but for this one, I'm just taking a little bit of my coffee grunge that I have and just grunging up the tag. And then I like to just dry it off and it's gonna give it a really cool, rustic look. Now I'm gonna tear a piece of homespun and I'm going to wrap it around my loaf and I'm also going to attach my tag and I have some dried apples that I'm going to add to this as well. And here it is, all done. I just love the way this turned out, don't you? I've been having so much fun making these. I've made a bunch. Now I will suggest if you do want more of that glossy look on top of the loaf, to use a gloss Mod Podge on top to seal it in, to give it that glossy look. Next up are the muffins. And again, these have dried for at least 24 hours. Now I'm taking some of my Matte Mod Podge and I'm going to mix it in with some ground up instant coffee, stir it up so it gets this really pretty caramel color. I'm gonna add a coat of that on top of each muffin. While the Mod Podge is still wet, I'm gonna sprinkle it with some cinnamon, dust it off, and then dab some more Mod Podge on top. While the Mod Podge is still wet, I sprinkle a little bit of instant coffee on top as well as some quick oats, and then I'm going to tap on some Mod Podge on top of that. 
sprinkle a little bit more quick oats on top and now I'm gonna continue on doing the same thing on top of each muffin. Once they have dried a little bit, I thought it would be cool to add a little bit of a glaze on top of them. So I took some of my matte Mod Podge, mixed it with a little bit of white paint, and now I'm just kind of adding on top to make it look like a glaze on top of each muffin. And then I'm just gonna give them a quick little dry. I also am sprinkling a little bit more of the instant coffee on top, tapping on that Mod Podge mixture on top of that as well. This step, adding the glaze, it's completely optional. I've made other sets of these muffins and didn't add them. Here is the set that I've made without it. So you do you whatever one you like better. Once they are dry, now I'm gonna tear a piece of homespun and wrap it around the muffin pan. And then I'm just gonna add a little cinnamon stick to that as well, just easy peasy. I love the way this one turned out as well. And here they are all done. I just love the way these turned out too. And I'm so happy that I added the glaze on those. It is just the perfect little touch to these darling foam muffins. Okay guys, that is all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Give it a big thumbs up if you did. And let me know in the comments below which one you like the most. And for daily decor and DIY inspo, as well as lots of behind the scenes and stories, make sure you're following me over on Facebook or Instagram, at Mother Time. Thank you so much for spending time with me here today. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.